we're back and starting to produce a single step income statement in good form. Good form means it's the proper format. So we always start with the company name. Jonan Limited. Next we do the name of the statement. Note I can use the word income statement or statement of earnings or profit and loss statement. I'm going to use income statement. Next we do the date of the statement and in this case it is always year ended or year ending and we have September 30th 2020. Since this is a single step income statement next we have a heading called revenue. We're going to move on to sales revenue which we know was one million four hundred and ninety six thousand seven hundred and ninety two. Remember that we categorize sales returns and allowances as a revenue category. That's because sales returns and allowances reduce the amount of revenue that's available for the company. So next we're going to put sales returns and allowances. I'm going to put it as a negative amount because it reduces revenue. Twenty eight thousand eight hundred and twenty four. Sales discounts were also categorized in the revenue category. That's because sales discounts reduce the amount of revenue available to the company. Sales discounts are discounts that are offered to customers in order to reduce the amount that they have to pay. They're offered so that customers pay faster. So sales discounts reduce revenue. Amount is 7520 I now have a subtotal called net sales. Total amount one million four hundred and sixty thousand four hundred and forty eight. In a single step income statement I always combine all the revenues together so at this point I have to add in the last revenue account interest revenue. Interest revenue was three thousand nine hundred and twenty. In a single step income statement I always have a total revenue line. And the total revenue in this case is one million four hundred and sixty four thousand three hundred and sixty eight. The only time I don't need a total revenue line is if revenue was just one line item. All right, we've got the total revenue. Let's move on. The next heading would be expenses. On a single step income statement, we would list every single expense account. I'm going to start with cost of goods sold, which is one million one hundred and fifteen thousand zero two eight. Next, salaries expense, one hundred and thirty eight thousand one hundred and thirty one. Depreciation expense, twenty six thousand three hundred and twelve. Utilities expense, seventeen thousand seven hundred and ninety seven. Interest expense, 14354 Repairs and maintenance expense, 12280 Insurance expense, 9600 Supplies expense, 6289 And that was it. I need to do a subtotal total expenses. And my total expenses are one million three hundred and thirty nine thousand seven hundred and ninety one. Notice that I've placed the expenses in order of magnitude, meaning it's going from the most expensive to the least expensive. Whether that's required in your course or not is totally dependent on the instructor. Notice also that I've used short forms. For instance, I've used EXP for expense, DEPR for depreciation, I've shortened maintenance, I've shortened insurance. Whether your instructor accepts that or not is totally dependent on who the instructor is. You should also notice that I haven't used any dollar signs or double underlining or anything like that. That's because I don't care about that, but you should find out if your instructor cares. Let's move on because we haven't finished yet. I'm going to try and squish it in at the bottom. Probably won't work, but I'm going to try anyway. So now we have income before income taxes. That is the difference between total revenues. Remember they were 1,464,368 and expenses of 1,339,791. 
So the income before income tax is 124,577. We now have to add income tax expense. From the listing, we know this was 25,177. When we deduct the income tax expense from the income before income taxes, it tells us that our net income is equal to 99,400. Notice I've double underlined it and put a dollar sign. And I always do my dollar sign with a double line, but I don't know why, because that's probably wrong. Anyway, that's not required in my classes, but it might be required in yours. This was a single step income statement. What would a multiple step income statement look like in a merchandising company? And I'll be covering that in the next video.